All right, people, what's going on? It is indeed your boy, the East Coast Gamer. I want to talk about some rumors I'm hearing about the Knicks. And kind of just my thought process, and I've made a video about this before. You know, this is not going to be like a 30-minute rant. You know, you're hearing rumors, the trade deadline's coming up towards the end of the month. A lot of teams looking to buy players out. You know, LaMarcus Aldridge, Andre Drummond, Victor Oladipo, Zach Levine are all rumored to be available. Uh, I'm not sure about Levine, actually, but, you know, I've heard some things about him. We don't know what the Bulls are going to do. But but in general, you know, there's a lot of uncertainty for teams. And you're seeing the rumors about the Knicks possibly getting Andre Drummond on a buyout and giving him an extension. It's like, let's wait a minute here, Knicks. I don't think they should do anything in the trade market. I think they should stay put. Unless a shooter becomes available where you give up maybe a second, you cannot mess with this team right now. And you'll have people say, but dude, if you want to ensure you make the playoffs, you go and get somebody else and make a run at it. But what's the cost of doing that? Do you want to go after Victor Oladipo or Andre Drummond and then give them extensions? Are those guys really going to get you over the hump? And what are you going to have to give up for them? Now, for an Andre Drummond, maybe he does get bought out and you sign him. But you already have Mitch Robinson. Andre Drummond is, is to me, he's, he's, eh, you know? Maybe tips can work on him, work on his game and make him better. But I don't know, I just don't think Andre Drummond fits the team. He's kind of like a clogger and he clogs up the lane. I just feel like he doesn't really move the needle for the Knicks. So what's ultimately the point of going after a guy like that? And the same thing with an Oladipo. Why would you go after an Oladipo who's a free agent who's asking for like a five-year multi-million dollar deal? He he rejected, what was it, like two years and 60 million from the freaking Rockets? Does that mean he wants more money or does that mean he wants a longer contract? With with, with that injury he had, he's not, that hasn't been the same. He has not been the same. For what? For a for a possible playoff push? Now listen, I don't know if this team's gonna make the playoffs. I keep saying that you know, us Knicks fans are excited about what we've seen so far, but we're also realistic. You know, I'm fully expecting this team to just lose a bunch of games because their schedule is absolutely brutal, as I keep mentioning. And maybe you get a another good player in here, and and you win a couple more games than you lose, and you get to the playoffs, but. What do you have to give up for it? Do you have to give up a pick? For an old depot or a Drummond? A player? You know, people will probably be willing to say, alright, we can give up Frank and Kevin Knox, but those guys are still young. I know Frank is a restricted free agent, but I doubt that he's going to get a monstrous contract in the offseason. And for uh, Kevin Knox, who's still young, although I think he's not really shown a lot, you don't know. Maybe he turns it around. You want to give up a guy like that for an old depot or a Levine or a Drummond or any other player. Aaron Gordon and Vucevic if he's ever available. I'm just throwing names out there. I think the Knicks need to stay put. You have cap space. You have picks. You have contracts that are expiring. You just got to do that. Don't trade to make... Don't think... Here's the thing. Don't make a trade to win now. You have to win in the future and continue to win in the future. If you make a trade, it has to be thinking of the long-term plan. You can't do a short-term first-round exit. Because what does that do for you? And especially if you give up the assets. And you'll have people say, but what about the Nets? The Nets made the playoffs that one year, and they only made it that year, and they were able to sign guys like Durant and Kyrie who came to play with them. Yes, but... The Nets had cap space, and they had picks, and they had young, promising players. That's why Durant and Irving went there. And they were able to trade them for Harden because they didn't blow all their cap space on a guy like an Andre Drummond. And what kind of extension would Andre Drummond demand? Is he going to want $20 million or is he going to want like ten? Because he, he thinks of himself as an elite big, which I don't see. I think he's an okay player, but he doesn't move the needle, like I said. You know? 
Overall, I just think that the Knicks need to stay put, as I keep mentioning, and I'll keep saying, don't fuck with the chemistry of this team. They're good. They're solid. I like this team. Are we going to make the playoffs? I keep saying, I don't know. All right? We could flame out. I'm expecting them to flame out with this tough schedule, but stay put. Don't rush into any trades. Be okay with what you got. Because, again, you have picks. You have picks. You have assets. You have cap space. And that's what you need right now. So, ultimately, like I said, Knicks, don't do any stupid trades. Don't trade for any mid-level tier players. You got to wait for the big game hunting. And there is no guarantee that you'll get a super, superstar player. But you got to be in the market for that. And if you were giving up cat space to guys like Drummond and Old Depot and others, that makes no sense. Because then you can't get a, a top tier player if they were ever to want to come play for the Knicks. So that's just my opinion personally. Tell me what you guys think. Do you think the Knicks should trade for an Andre Drummond? Or do you think they should stay put and wait for a guy like a Kawhi? Or yeah, I don't want to throw anybody else out because uh, you know what I mean, like a top tier player. I don't want to throw names out there because fan bases are going to get pissed off that I would suggest that, <laughs> which they have a right to. Um, but yeah, you know, should the Knicks wait? Or should they, you know, go after some mid-tier guys and see what they can do? Let me know what you think. Uh, see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. And again, game recap will come probably tomorrow for the Nets. So see you guys.